Hey my beautiful Scorpio, so welcome to the third day of my dailies and the third of October, third of the magic month, it's the third magic day. So I hope you're all feeling them October energies, the magic's in the air, you can feel it and smell it. It's, the energy's calmer today than it was yesterday. So I'm getting you one from the Divinely, well it's not the Divine Garden of course, it's uh, the Divine Gardens. So we've got Trustworthy Gardens, look at the image there, I love that. You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. So maybe you have had a bit of an epiphany or a bit of a, a dream. Oh, I'd really love to do this. Or um, I'd really like to meet a lifetime partner now. Or I'd like to do this new venture. And it's like... Yeah, but how, how can I get it started? Well, the divine are saying they're supporting your dreams. They're going to help you manifest these dreams. You're being divinely guarded. It's trustworthy guidance. It may come in the form of someone saying something to you. You know, someone may be guarded to say something to you and you're actually saying, thinking, hmm, that actually resonates. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully, it's my words. So, we're going into the good tarot because I like the illustrations and I've only just unboxed them and I've had them here for about three years. <laughs> So, let's have a look for my Scorpios. This Trustworthy Gardens. You're birthing new ideas. So we've got the Free of Earth. Teamwork makes the dream work. You also got the King of Air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there. So there could be legal situations there or you may be dealing with an air sign. You may have air in your chart. But this is about communication. It's about communication. The King of Air could actually be your spirit guide. It could be a male figure in spirit as well who's like kind of communicating to you working with you as part of a team as well so the free of earth is it is that she's standing up back like a statue because she's got that those people around her you know to hold her up so it's all working together building something together it's like the key to something I don't know why i want to say okay there's not a key there but We've also got the Chariot and the Queen of Fire. So we've got Sagittarius Leo Aries energy. The Queen of Fire is finding your magic again. The Queen of Fire, she's she is the epiphany of magic manifestation. Once she is fully in her power, it's like if I want it, I get it. Boom, magic wand. And that is the energy. You are in that energy. And that's where spirit is saying, this is trustworthy guidance. You can go and do this. The Queen of Wands is very passionate and ambitious. She's very motivated, especially when she sets her eyes on something. Could be dealing with a fire sign as well, Sagittarius Leo Aries. Then you've got Chariot, the sign of water. The sign, uh, water. The sign of cancer. It is water. The Chariot is positive movement forward. It's how do we move positively forward. The ideas that have been bestowed onto you, they're going to move forward anyway, as long as you follow the trustworthy guidance that is coming in with them. So I absolutely love this. It's almost like I'm talking to entrepreneurs or, you know, you've, you've got this new idea and it's like, yeah, but how can I start it off? So I want to look at the King of Swords with the Three of Earth. <coughs> right, so we've got closed off, guarded and resistant. And I feel like in the past, you, you may have tried to do something. It didn't work, that type of thing. But at that time, your energy was resistant. It's almost like putting magnets the wrong way, you know, when they push each other away. Could even be with a person being the king, with the King of Air being there. But on top of that, you've got a freedom, a leap of faith will bring in opportunities. And I feel like you've got this newfound freedom or freedom of force. Like it's like you've got headspace to think about these ideas. And now it's like, right, how do I put it in motion? Well, you're going to sit there and the divine are putting this in your head, how you can move it in motion. It can come again, like I say, in the words of someone else, somebody passing the message. Sounds, synchronicities, the free of earth. See, what's been stopping you in the past is your own limitations, fear. Fear has been putting limitations on yourself. That's where the Queen of Wands comes in, because the Queen of Wands is faster. The Queen of Wands is like, no, I'm getting what I want. I'll get what I deserve, and I deserve it. Tonight, when we go to sleep, there could be messages in dreams, because if they can't get through to you when your head is so busy, if they're during the day, if you're overthinking that type of energy, they will get to you in your dreams. Spirit almost definitely, you may, you may have a dream of a new idea, do you know what I mean? It's like, make sure you go to bed tonight with a notepad and pen because you wake up tomorrow in the present moment with an attitude of gratitude and that attitude of gratitude is going to bring in abundance. So you've got good ideas that are uh, ready. It's almost like you, but you're going to be the farmer. You're going to be planting the seeds. But I feel like the divine are already starting to plant the seeds. So watch out for that one, Scorpio. It sounds interesting. 
Bye.